Hi everyone, I am McDysis. Hope you're all doing good today. Uh, this is definitely not my second time recording this because I accidentally quit to menu. We're doing Sonic Homecoming. I'm going to be doing a speedrun explain of this where I kind of explain everything about this game and roughly a capability you probably understand. Now, first things first, uh, crank up your brightness all the way. It's very important you do that. Second thing, I'm on an Xbox Series X. If you want to speedrun this, I highly recommend doing it on an Xbox platform. 360, the Bone, or the Series X. Ask me one of those ones. Why? It's really bad on everything else. The PC port is unbuyable. Do not buy it. Like, it will strip unplayable. It is a trash. It should not even be sold. And then the PS3 port has a lot of downsides that the Xbox 360 port, you know, even beats it out on. As well, you need to install the game on your console. Um, for all these reasons, Xbox is the key to go. Uh, that being said, even if you want to try doing the other ones, I think they all have a 7-minute unskippable cutscene, among other issues. I used to have World Record on the PC port because I'm dumb enough to get it working. I ran it on a very tiny window and it was a pain in the ass. Don't do it. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to be diving into it. We're doing New Game because New Game is going to kind of show you a little bit more and I think it has a little bit more base. Has some, has some power behind it. Uh, you can pick a costume if you want. I recommend going with Classic just because it's going to give you the base feel of the game. And, uh, that should be good. I don't have a SoundCloud. You can go to my YouTube. I go to my Twitch. Boom. Time begins on first action, so we have a little bit to chill. We can kind of talk a bit about Homecoming as a game. It's one of the Western games. People don't like it as much. However, this is going to be the most difficult Silent Hill speedrun. Uh, you know, not counting physically having to be in a chair for eight hours. Uh, I've been running this game since 2017, and this is my second oldest game. I'm actually one of the oldest runners of this game. Uh, I know quite a lot, although I don't know everything. Uh, mainly because some of the skips are a bit daunting to me, and they only save a minor amount of time, and also I don't wind out this game nearly enough in the way I should. It is a very difficult game, and this will hopefully um, make things a little bit more understanding. Uh, I'm going to try to explain a lot in layman's terms and in a variety of ways. Um, there is a very good glitch guide by Schmumbler. Uh, it does kind of go over a lot of the different tech that this game has, and it's a good way of learning it. That being said, last is really not least check. If you want to do New Game Plus, I'll also be going over the strats for that. So this will kind of be all-encompassing. A calm race, saying the two for five months. Enjoy the emotes in the series, and thank you. I'll be doing good. I've been over quite a lot. That being said, you'd have to do a new game run to unlock new game plus anyway. No, 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 not the stuff. No, not SoundCloud. All right. Anyway, time begins in first action. I'll be uh, when you ever when you see the A, the moment you start mashing, time will begin. Also, I'm gonna take a brief uh, notice to mention because I talked about it earlier. Uh, when you make splits, uh, this is like an open book test. You're allowed to have splits. Nowhere in speedrunning does it say you're not allowed to have notes. Use notes. Notes are good for you. They're very nice. Like you can remember the number 624872, or you can write it down. So if you ever take a break from this game, guess what? You don't have to scramble to remember that number. Josh. Josh is oh, the great crab AVT, and hope you've been doing good, by the way. Anyway, I do this a little bit slowly. Make sure you're actually hovering the proper number. Um, sometimes they do delay, so I wait a little bit. Where are, you going? are you really going to listen to a Redditor? My favorite post about some guy talking about Redditors is that apparently some guy got into an argument uh, with a Redditor about food. Josh, stop. And then uh, he was getting really angry and he looked at the guy's Reddit profile. And then he realized that he's been arguing with for 30 minutes about food with a guy who drinks his own piss and had posts on r slash piss. About drinking his own piss. So. I don't listen to Redditors. Anyway, uh, this is probably, uh, this is the goon session of the game. Uh, this is every song who cosplayer in existence, and, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty good part of the game, if you ask me. Oh, it's good. It's good, Cry You're allowed to do that. You can fix her. She can make me worse. Laughed out loud. That's true. Here of the dragoon. Shut the fuck up. Okay, for new game runs, you want this health kit. Uh, it will come in handy. You might take some damage. Being able to heal it off is going to be nice. Uh, hug the left here with the wheelchair. Uh, it will always come down like that. Uh, hugging the left will, you know, allow you to possibly bypass it. At the very least, it won't throw you down the stairs. Make sure the light is off. Light in Silent Hill games is actually going to be tied to aggression. Um, 
This is actually the reason why in the beginning of the game we cranked the brightness all the way to max. Uh, there are some parts of the game you're going to have to play running in the dark, so you are going to want to be at the best advantage, which is being able to see. Not being able to see would be bad. So, in this case, seeing is good. Alex have a red account? He might. Anyway, this is an enemy you're almost never going to see again. They're called the Swarm. They're a swarm of bugs that drain your blood. That's a no fun. Uh, normally, they used to be a problem and you'd want to avoid them. Now, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, you're going to go immediately to the right. And after that, just kind of get ready for this next door. I actually didn't get any of them funny enough. Even if you get them, they don't matter. What we're going to be doing is when you drop down here, you're going to be pushing B and A together. Uh, what that's going to do... It, oh, I missed it. What I'll do is I'll instantly drop you. If you miss it, it's not a huge deal. I actually got it funny enough on the first attempt I did of this. I mean, the not first attempt I did of this. But it saves us a couple of seconds. It is going to be B and A at the same time. You won't always land everything, but B and A at the same time there. If you got it right, you'll kind of do like a dodge roll and you'll immediately, like, it'll zoom you down. I'm not going to reset a run over missing a very minor trick. But I will explain what you kind of want to see. Anyway, as you noticed, I keep the light off here. I do not want the nurses following me. And then we're in a dialogue box. Joshua, is that you? I'm busy. Go away. What are you doing? The answers, by the way, are X, Y, Y. There's going to be little dialogues that pop up. You're pretty much not singing at all. It's a mashing the button. So just, you know, once he says uh, the first line of dialogue, start mashing Y after that. So like X, Y, Y. And then he'll just go through normally. There's also going to be a health kit in this room if you need it. For New Game Plus, you will not. For New Game, it's nice to have. Yes, this will be the Xbox version of the game. Uh, I own a physical copy, and I am playing it on an Xbox Series X. Unfortunately, this game is a little bit pay to win. However, that doesn't need to stop you from speedrunning it. Just make sure you have an Xbox of some kind. That's all I say. Uh, I ended up buying a Series X for this game and a few other games. However, I work a job where I stream horror games for a living, and I directly goes to what I want to do. Let's see. Also, don't mash this too fast, because you can actually kill you. Uh, it can, like, miss your button inputs if you just mash it. No, I did not buy an Xbox 360 for this game specifically. The games I bought it for were this game, uh, Dead Rising 2 Case Zero, Case West, uh, Operation Raccoon City, Downpour, and The Darkness. Uh, so aggressive? Hungry. Hey, with that being said, you're now done with the tutorial. A lot of the games have rough PC ports or no PC ports, so 360 is nice sometimes. There we go. Wait. Wait, chat, is that an elevator? Wait. Wait going on here I hear something huh. what is that who could that be well I have a chainsaw I actually have to use my OG Xbox by the way or my OG 360 oh my god it's He came out of nowhere, man. I, I don't know what happened. He came out of nowhere. Chat, I think he's also manifesting himself in other ways. Oh my god, he's in chat. <laughs> uh, dies. Uh, anyway, in case you're wondering, you can't skip these two cutscenes. You have to watch them. It's weird. Some cutscenes are skippable, some are not. This cutscene, you can skip. Those other two, though, just... You can't skip them for some reason? It's really weird.
Alrighty. I don't know about that one. Okay, so this is going to be a weird skip. I'm calling it a skip because I really don't know how to word it otherwise. If you try skipping this cutscene, you will pause the game and lose a very minor amount of time. So you have to tap the start button very lightly. Very, very lightly. Feels strange to be back here again. Like if you push the button, you skip you hit pause. I it's the only one in the game that does that. It's the only one in oh. any game I've ever played that oh. does that. It's really weird. Oh, that's strange. Like it's a very light tap. Anyway, if you're doing New Game Plus, you would grab the ray gun here and you would clip on the door on the left. I will show you what that clip looks like later. Right now, since we're doing New Game, uh, not New Game Plus, go we are going to only be grabbing the flashlight. Here. By the way, you're able to move during that cutscene. I'm holding up left during that. Uh, our first fight of the game, we're just going to be doing a standard combo. I actually ran into him to start things off and then I hit him with the 1, 2, 3, 4 twice. How's it going, uh, Snicker? I'll be doing good. Snickering. Oh, come on in. I mean, you go invisible? We don't go invisible entirely. And there's one moment where you don't see him, but we will be concealed. Anyway, it's a pretty easy fight. You get the, the remote down there, and it's pretty good. I like this game. This is... Alright, well, I'm done. Uh, this is actually the second game I ever sped ran, as funny as that sounds. I really wanted to do this game because I had a good time with it when I was a kid. Yeah, there's an old saying where games are a lot more fun when someone's not yapping in your ear about how terrible they are all the time. That doesn't crack. Nobody doing good. Anyway, you're going to grab the pipe and you're going to try your best to open this beforehand. I actually got the glitch, funny enough. Uh, I didn't get this last time, so it's going to be a little bit of time save. Uh, if you don't get it, you will have to kill him. However, we got it, so we can just grab the, uh, the oil can and leave. Uh, I don't even know it's a glitch. It's more of just a tech. Like, you just kind of open it fast. The way I do it normally is I turn on the flashlight. I think it lures them out. It's not consistent, though, so just keep in mind you might get it. This one's different. What, this game? Well, the main problem with this game is I'm going to tell you right now, and please, for the love of God, uh, I'm going to say this, and I hope you heed the warning. Do not buy an Xbox Series X solely to speedrun Silent Hill Homecoming. That is a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. It's also stupid. So don't do it. Have five games if you're going to buy a Series X. That is an expensive purchase for a lot of people. And you shouldn't spend, what, 500 minimum to get some seconds shaved off in an obscure hobby that, like, how many people do this? I don't people do this game. Let's see. And on PC, the PC port is not good for a variety of reasons. Uh, 360 is good if you want to have a fun time running the game. If you want to be competitive, it gets a little bit different. There we go. By the way, uh, uh, there's 25 people on New Game Plus. Funny enough, by the way, chat. Um, if you look at the leaderboard, you'll notice I'm not really high on New Game Plus. That's because I don't run New Game Plus. I think New Game Plus is lame. That's why I said my last time was four years ago. I think last time I ended up doing it, I broke immediately into the top 10, which, uh, it's, like, I can probably get pretty good at this game. i probably break into, I think, top three if I grinded it out. How's it going? It's going good. Turning in my grave. He'll be doing good. Yeah, 34. There you go. I mainly do new game, because new game Chad. And you can see on new game, I'm top four out of, like, 11. I mean, there's only 11 people, but, like... World of Records 36, I have a 41. I'm pretty good at explaining things, though. Alrighty, so this fight, you're going to walk up a little forward and get the knife combo. It's standard 1, 2, 3, 4. Pretty solid stuff. Make sure you pick up this talisman. It is very important you do so. New game is Chad mode. New game plus... Okay. A lot of people like New Game Plus because you get an extra clip and it's a lot more about the glitches. However, New Game Plus just kind of murders all the boss fights. Uh, back when I used to run this game, the only person who was really doing New Game uh, New Game Normal uh, was uh, UFO Techie. And I watched him do it a lot and I really liked that category. So I'm a big fan of New Game Normal. 
Uh, I used to run New Game Plus, but then I, you know, I warmed up to New Game, and I think it's a much more interesting category. I can do both, and I'll even show you the New Game Plus tech. There's one glitch that New Game Plus has. I will do that. You have the good knife, New Game Plus. Use the ray gun, and you one-shot every enemy in the game. It's really not that entertaining. Agmason Hill, it's decently active. There's always going to be some kind of player base. Anyway, I should mention right now, uh, dogs in this game, do not let them pounce on you. They will do a lot of damage. That was pounce. I dodged it. That dog specifically is pretty bad, and on the way back, there'll be a couple that are pretty rough. Nice. Yeah, it really depends. Very. I mean, depends on what... It, I think very is relative. There's always going to be an active base, and, like, every game kind of has its pockets. Like, I don't know how active it's been lately. But, uh... Every game has its pockets out, so. And I also run every single one. Nothing wrong with that. Like, right now, the most active game is Silent Hill 1 with seven active players. However, active is weird because it only counts as uh, people who've submitted a PB in the month. But, like, every game is relatively active to a degree. Except for, like, some of the harder to get ones, I suppose. But Silent Hill 1 is probably the most active. But, like, I'm not considered active in any Silent Hill games because I don't submit PBs all the time. Surprisingly enough, because when you're grinding for a PB and don't get one, you don't really have that. Anyway, going forward with Silent Hill Homecoming. The game is about to break a lot because we've been waiting to get a gun. On New Game, you don't get a gun immediately. On New Game Plus, you would get it on the bed of the flashlight, which is why the game breaks so easily. In this game, uh, in New Game, you get the gun here. So the game's going to break in a moment here. I do want to mention... I do want to mention this. The game is not going to be broken. Do not insult the game because what I've, I'm about to do in a moment here. In the next few minutes, I should say. A lot of people like to insult games and like game devs. Like, oh, I can't believe they made that game. Like, no, oh, no, they, they made a game that's actually pretty healthy. A lot of the decisions in a game that you're going to see uh, are going to have a reason behind it. You can insult the game for the endings, but, like, I don't really like the idea of lost speedrunners insulting game developers for games being a certain way. Very often, there's a reason. Also, no, RE4 is not the most sped-ran game. The most sped-ran game is going to be some weird thing, like, I think, like, Subway Servers, was it? Hello. Can I check, probably check right now. Let's see. Busy. Also, do not match A here, or else you'll talk to him. Push it once. So you get rid of the gun prompt. Uh, we're going to grab two bits of ammo in this room. Do not talk to that guy, even on accident. Let's see. The most active game is Subway Surfers. The most sped around game is Subway Surfers with 28,000 players. Mario has 7,000 for reference. The Lust is also more popular than Mario. But I thought shorter games would be easier. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Is the gun useful? Very. You're about to see how we break the game. Once we get back to the mausoleum. So something that should be noted about Silent Hill Homecoming. Silent Hill Homecoming is a sort of open world game. So it's kind of hubs. The first boss is behind the hotel. Uh, you'd kind of go through the hotel, and then you'd meet up with the boss, and you'd kill the boss. And then after that, I think it throws you to like a subway station or a power plant, and then you go to the second boss. After that, it would throw you... Um, like... You go, like, to, like, I think it's, like, the prison and the church. You go to all these areas. Uh, funny enough, all these areas are currently in the game. The main difference is, depending on how you get there, you can kind of break the game. You gonna have one bullet? It might. You can speed on anything you want, chat. Not really a whole rule on what you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. I'm trying, if someone tries to tell you you can't do something, give them one of these. Anyway... This is going to be gun clipping. This is going to be a weird example of the first one. However, uh, I will try to explain what's going on. This is not going to be used for everything. This is unique. So I'm going to aim the gun and hold the right. It's a feelings thing. Uh, you'll kind of see I'm kind of jutting a little, like, you know, like just bumping a little bit to the left. I actually want to go to the right. And the game's heavily based on can you feel it? There we go. 
So there we go, we've now clipped this wall. Now you're wondering, what does clipping through this wall do? And also you could zero clip if you want to. I don't recommend it, but you could. Oh wait, not there. That moved me to the bottom of that crypt, and then I exited once again. I now have a cutscene, which what this does... ...is I have now beaten the second boss of the game. I now have the ceremonial knife, the pipe, the axe, the shotgun. Um, I have a lot of weapons. The reason why is because... The game assumes that if I must be leaving an area, I must have these weapons. Because normally, in order to proceed through the game, you should have these things. The game would likely give them to you. The reason why it does this also is because a lot of game developers, what they'll do is to taste, test later sections. They don't want to have nothing. It's like, hey, can you put my model here? Hey, I don't want, uh, you know, I, I don't want to have no weapons. Give me some weapons. So they kind of just make it that if you go through a loading zone, you, they'll just give you the weapons even if you don't have them. And get you, it's get you, it gets used in a lot of things for testing and it's kept in there because normally the, they're not expecting the player to go through these areas. Because naturally you won't be able to. Our clip is coming up soon. There's a few clips in the game. Uh, the first one's not really indicative of the rest of them. Like I said, you literally just aim the gun and hold right. It's pretty straightforward and simple, I would say. And that's how it works. Uh, I'll kind of go through in depth the clips. Um, I definitely want to mention early on that if you are trying to learn this game, the best way of doing the clips is however you figure it out. I will mention a lot of the game's tech, or even clips late game. I'll mention a lot of how I do it and a lot of what to keep in mind as you do it. However, just keep in mind that for a lot of this game, it's going to be very feeling based. And what you feel is going to be different than other people. Which, I know, it, you know, it's weird, like, oh, to do the trick, you should do this, right? No. Because very often when you're doing the trick, you're not always going to get the same result. The walls in this game act very weird. And I'll continue to elaborate on that as we kind of witness more of the standard gun clipping, uh, which we'll be seeing in a moment. But the game's kind of taking your gun momentum and your regular momentum, combining them together, and that pushes you into a wall. And the game, since it's not programmed terribly, doesn't want you being stuck in a wall, so it'll try to push you out. As speedrunners, what we're doing is we're using that to our advantage to get pushed out on the right side. Or, you know, the desired side, I should say. Anyway, we grab the attic key and the shotgun uh, down here, because they're good weapons. And the attic key can be used on the attic door. That's a new game thing. On new game, you would use the attic key on the attic door. However, some of you might want to do new game plus. I'm not going to judge you for that. So, on New Game Plus, you'd grab the ray gun, and you would do this clip, where you're going to be going right and left, and you're going to be trying to get sunk in. You'll notice I didn't immediately get kicked out, and now I have something. Uh, sometimes it'll kick you out. If it does, you gotta do it again. A lot of this game is going to be feelings-based. So you kind of want to feel it. I, I'm in the wall a little bit here, and we're going to start moving. Normally, I try to hold my way in the direction I want to go, and then I adjust the camera as I see how Alex moves. I am heavily adjusting how I'm playing. On New Game Plus, you have the privilege to fire the ray gun, which can jut you forward, and that would force you out faster. That's how I do it. Now, I want to mention, this isn't something that can be quite said easily. Because if I notice I'm moving forward normally on, you know, the first clip, I will let it ride. You have to know when to let it ride, you have to know when to turn, you have to know how much to turn. You have to kind of gauge how Alex will be, and you kind of have to predict that Alex may move the way you want him to. Uh, also, this puzzle is pretty easy. It's literally just look at the answer. It's right here. Uh, I don't need to tell you how to solve it. But slow down the video. Look at the thing. You got it. Anyway, going back to standard gun clipping. You can actually clip through this wall right here. This is a wall. This works on any wall in the game for the most part. Uh, invisible walls are also walls. So, like I said, you're going to be going through. You can kind of wait till you get a sink or uh, like that. we can say an anchor. And then, boop, right down we go. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm not losing time because I'm bad. I'm losing time because I decided to show up a trick that you don't do on New Game that is New Game Plus exclusive. A New Game Plus... We're now caught up, by the way. By the way, in case you're wondering, for New Game Plus, what do you do now? You literally just one-shot everything because it's baby mode. Make sure you grab that knife. You're now going to be going up here. There is a glitch you can do here. Um, I don't recommend starting off on it because it can kill you. However, you can do it. Grab the mask, then grab the rabbit. 
You can clip through that wall if you want. Uh, you would end up on the first floor, or you can take the stairs. It is a very minor amount of time save. So if you're itching for time save and you know you want it, go for it. Um, I just don't do it all the time because it's a little bit risky can kill you. And I prefer just to go the old route. Anyway, make sure you grab that mask and then do that. Also, you need the mask anyway, so... Uh, the answer will be indifference, and then it will be, uh, frowning. I remember that because a one of our Twitch viewers, Voxybox, uh, reminded me one day of how they're different. Anyway, here's shotgun clipping. Uh, you aim the shotgun at the wall, you swap your pistol immediately when aiming. And that kind of does a weird way of jutting you through a wall. The way I would word it is, standard gun clipping will put you into the wall, and then you can wiggle your way out. Shotgun clipping will force you through the wall. Even if you're wiggling, it will go much, much faster. Also, don't do the PC port. For the love of God, if you have it, the best version is the 360 version. Even though shock and clipping heat you through a little bit faster, both have their uses. And I'll mention what I'm doing where. <coughs> As well, to get out of the house, we have to do all the puzzles. So if you're wondering, can you skip the puzzles? No, you must do them. Alrighty, so the next clip is going to be a gun clip. A gun clip will work, again, all these clips work on any wall in the game. And this game has a lot more walls than you think. For instance, coming up right now, I saw that invisible wall and that, you know, that like pipe, that was a wall. Uh, these pipes right here, this is a wall. So we can clip through this. We'll be using this as a wall. Treat it like a wall, just kind of assume it's the same idea. Uh, once again, to actually get the launch or get the uh, the pool, uh, what you're looking for is that. But the reason why I'm running left and right is I'm trying to generate momentum in Alex and I'm trying to push it forward. It's like running like like doo -doo -doo -doo. like you know this way, boom. this way, boom. That's the idea behind it. Also, you're wondering why I have such a weird like thing with my hand there. I don't have a lot of room here. So, whenever you're aiming, you are dropping all movement. You are letting go of the left stick. You are trying to let that channel forward. I can show you on the next wall, and the next wall clip we're going to be doing is the one I recommend you practice on. If you are doing this game and wanting to learn this game, you, you should learn it on this wall coming up. You'll see it in one moment, what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, that's a pipe flume. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing good. By the way, before you do this clip, for the love of God, pull the lever. You will softlock the game if you don't pull this. Halo 36 copies on eBay. It may have gone up because all the Sun Hill franchises have gone up. Alrighty, so this wall right here is the easiest wall to clip through. It is very thin. And you can kind of see I already got like a few pulls in general around here. Nice and easy. I got like three pulls on one attempt. Never played home games are good. Eh, it's okay. That was a tickle. I know we're doing good. Oh, I can imagine. I'm doing a commentator run of this game. I'm trying to go over all the tricks because I realize I've never actually done one. And it would probably be helpful for people who uh, like to have some kind of uh, insight, I suppose. Uh, there we go. Puzzle's pretty easy. You just mash the knives with the wall, and we're out of the Shepherd House. Also, I'm not actually down by 43 seconds. Realistically, I'd be down by, like, 20-something. Actually, now I might be down by, like, 40, but, like... I'm down by 43 because I did a New Game Plus trick because I wanted to make sure I showed that off so I don't have to... Like, I, I'm not going to make a video for New Game Plus and New Game. That's a, uh, McGurd. I'll be doing good. All right, once you hit this, you are now good to go. Nice and easy. By the way, you can't skip this cutscene, so... On a wait. Also, I should mention it coming up. There's gonna be, like, three cutscenes. Do not mash skip. Uh, if you mash the skip button, what will happen is you will actually potentially, uh... Cause an unskillable cutscene to happen. And you can only... Do that. Oh, I'll be separate. I'm not them all separate to cut off. It's all be separate. 
I was gonna start out luck, I'll be doing good. Thank you for Prime Gaming for 18 months. Enjoy the two Twitch babies, the most of the series, and cheers. I'll be doing good. Thank you very much. Yeah, do not, like, if you want to run this, please do Xbox 360. Or, like, you don't have to own a Series X, just Xbox to some degree. And anyway, like I mentioned, uh, you don't have to mash the button. Let the cutscene fade in a little bit, then start pushing the button. You might accidentally cause the cutscene to break. And if that happens, it becomes unskippable. And then you're stuck watching a cutscene. And then you lose time, and then I will laugh at you. I will find you, and I'll laugh at you if it happens. Uh, I'll be waiting in the wings, waiting for you to mash the button. You'll be on PD pace, and then you'll lose a minute, and I'll go, hee 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 hee. And you know what? It'll be funny. So don't do it. All right, anyway, I've already talked a little bit about the glitches in this game. I talked about shotgun clipping, which is when you take the shotgun, you immediately aim to the pistol, and then that allows you to kind of force your way through a wall. I talked about gun clipping, which is the standard uh, pistol clip. Uh, that is kind of how you wiggle your way through. We're going to be learning about a new type of clipping, which can best be described as combo clipping. The idea of combo clipping is that you are going to be... Uh, swapping from the pistol to the shotgun. However, this isn't like shotgun clipping where it's instantaneous. You're not trying to do it immediately. Wheeler, Wheeler, what you're there? doing is Wheeler, you want to root yourself into a wall as deep as you can, and then you use the shotgun to wiggle out. Um, this works a lot for thick walls in the game. There are a few thick walls in this game. And sometimes you'll need to do it. Uh, alternatively, the shotgun clipping can get you through. However, um, this is a much more reliable method. Uh, this can be done either with the shotgun clip or the combo clip. Personally, I like to use the combo clip, to which this wall is fat. It is very thick. Uh, if you do not combo clip, Alex will be stuck. By the way, if you take too long, an enemy will spawn. If you're on New Game Plus, kill it immediately. If you're on New Game, good luck. Uh, I kind of do the thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I can get this. Oh my god, he got me. There. Thank you for the fall, by the way. I was like edging my way in there and he got me. What a monster. Things that affect this, by the way. Also, there's two monsters, not just one. All right, I got him. Huh? Which part? Normally, you don't need to kill these guys. If you take too long, you need to kill them. There we go. So you want to get about there, and then you just get the shotgun, and then you scoot out. It's very easy to scoot out once you've got it. The big thing is making sure you can root yourself deep enough in there. Once you're rooted, you're good to go. Alex, where are you? I'll play a good game. I played Sonal 2 the other day. I also don't mind messing up some of these uh, skips for the purposes of this, ex you know, explanation, because you're going to be able to see kind of how you can figure it out. Not everything is going to be an exact science, and I think being an exact science would be bad. By the way, if you're doing all bosses, you can't do what I'm doing right now. You'd have to clip through the wall that I uh, was next to that. If you don't, it doesn't work. Anyway, we're going to be doing shock and clipping once again. Uh, I remember how this works. Um, instantly swap through. Uh, it doesn't always work. Usually, I just kind of hold forward the whole time and then just wiggle my way in there. There we go. Now, as you go through, there are going to be two doors. Uh, hold forward the whole time and then push A. You know, you'll see it. At some point, you will stop. At this point, you're going to shotgun clip. You are using that wall on the bottom left or that left side over there. If you see it moving, you're doing it right. And then you're just going to... Figure out the movements, shotgun clipping. It's the same every time. It's usually going to be a... Once you got it, I kind of hold the direction I want to go. And then I do the camera more in the opposite. So for this, I'll be holding up right. And then I'm moving the camera towards the bottom left. And... Boom. We're right in there. It should be. Yep, we're in there. And now, to fix it, the way I've been all doing right, it is I hold all the way back uh, until I'm at the wall. And then I sort of just hold down left till I get stuck. Right about here. Then look roughly about here. Uh, if you do it right, you should kind of get back in business. You can also even swing a little bit. 
And should take us back. Keyword should. There we go. I'm not sure why it works that way, but it does that. Uh, anyway, to get out of it, you're going to roll right here on that little pocket, and then you're going to go. Uh, you want to pick the bad ending. Uh, unless you're going for the good end, uh, different ending, pick X. Um, if you are doing this and want to get... I'm going to be getting the UFO ending. Uh, the reason why is because this will get you new game plus stuff. So if you want to play around with that, you will have it. I'll get you the ray gun. So make sure that you pick X if you want that. If you want to have um, the drowned ending, uh, also it's horse, it is coffin, and it is blank. Yeah, if you want to have the bogeyman ending, you'll pick X. If you want to have the drowned ending, you'll pick Y. Oh, wrong button. Let me just drop on it. That's a cutscene right there. Uh, we now have Wheeler with us. There is a boss fight skip that you can do here. I will not be doing it. On New Game Plus, you do not do it. And on New Game, it saves a minor amount of time. Um, pretty much, you'd be skipping the boss. And the way you'd do that is on the next turn, right about here, you would clip through the wall right about the, uh, here or so. Roughly right here. And then you would do a glitch. Uh, Smumbler has this very detailed, where you go above the next two arenas. I don't do it personally because there is a chance of dying, and it's kind of awkward to get into it. As well, a lot of the next two sections aren't too bad. And you don't do it on New Game Plus, because New Game Plus, you actually kill the boss so fast, it's negligible. But it's kind of funny that New Game... Again, New Game Plus really is easy mode, because you kill the boss that quickly, you straight up don't do a tougher clip. Because it's worth it just to kill the boss. Because, like, well, dead. Kind of going into the fact that I don't like New Game Plus. That's why you liked it. I do not have world record in Homecoming now. That's held by Schmumbler. Judge anyway, boss fight time. The way this boss fight's gonna work is normally I unload a uh, shotgun immediately in the chest. Uh, I do about two. Um, if you do it right, uh, you might get the slam attack. I got fist, that's bad. By the way, remember I said you want to grab a lot of health? This is why we're grabbing health. I right, get, get enough damage in. A lot of damage. Uh, let's do a minor heal. Alright, she's not going to face. Oh, no, not face two yet. All right, there we go. We do skip Scarlet. All bosses does not. Anyway, the way I do this is I've been just kind of shooting. Uh, always go up left to get the dodge. It will always work. It's very easy dodge. Just up left. You actually want to use the axe on this, funny enough. Then one. Pop. Pull out. And you can actually roll back in if you're fast. But it doesn't work all the time. Funny enough, by the way, I see a lot of people talking, and people always bring it up. Uh, fun fact, this movie predates the human centipede. So, nope, it's just asphyxia. And that's the boss fight. We're now hitting the toughest clip in the game. This is going to be organ clip. Organ clip is going to be very, Josh, very wait. difficult. Uh, the idea behind this is it was a skip concocted by Schmumbler. But you shotgun clip into a giant organ. It is the fattest wall in the game. At that point, you need to... No, I was spamming up. That's the thing. Hey, it's fine. You're going to have to wiggle your way through in a weird way. It's kind of like spinning. So. Anyway, we'll be getting the shotgun out. And uh, hopefully this works. Uh, if I take, if I get first try, I'm actually going to be kind of worried. Anyway, it's going to be a sh uh, standard shotgun clip. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down. Wait. Down. Uh, down left on movement. Up right on camera. It's kind of in a weird way. Once Alex's shoulder sticks out of the organ, you drop everything. I barely missed it, I think. That was close, but I almost had it. There we go. 
If you die, that first try, it was not first try, I died. Nice, I died. It doesn't always work, you'll know when you get it. Once again, kind of get in there. Let's ride. And you want to see the shoulder just kind of peek out from the other side of the wall. At that point, you're hoping that Alex's whole body will not be in the organ. Almost got it. This is definitely a tough trick. If you're kind of wondering how you know you got it versus not got it, honestly, if Alex is all on the wall after you drop it, you don't have it. Alex's whole body needs to be out of the organ when you drop it. Now, I know you're thinking, isn't there an easier way of doing this? Yes. It loses several minutes. It's not like the asphyxia fight where it's like, uh, you know, it's kind of faster. This is notably faster. And it's something that you should really work towards doing because the other strat's really not worth it anymore. This is also the major run reset point. Anyway, right there. That is the example. Uh, you were fully out just like that. I actually had a really strong as I did clip. Now, it's not over yet. There's an invisible wall right here. You're going to shock and clip right here. Doesn't look like it works. Just aim, and you're good to go. I like to pick up the health. And that is how you do organ clip. It's something you're going to have to feel. The best I can say is as you're turning, you are like slightly down left and slightly up right. You kind of want to go with that pace I was going, like not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Uh, Tickleton actually helped me work out a lot of that skip, so. This is going to be one of those things that you might actually find something you're more comfortable with. That's okay. Find something that works for you specifically. It has to be something that works with you. How's it going, assisted? Hope you're doing good today. Anyway, if you're on PC or PS3, I hope you enjoy losing seven minutes right here. If you're on Xbox 360, congratulations. You just saved seven minutes. Anyway. Ah, I like how Alex goes wild here. You just mash the bottom. It's not too wild here. Oh, this is what actually gets a lot of places censored. How you doing, assisted? All right, so you're going to be grabbing uh, both the health kits. They're good to have. Uh, obviously, you know, if you're going to your old record mode, you shouldn't need them. Make sure you equip the knife. It's not equipped. And then... We're going to be going through the next few areas of, uh, I guess, uh, the level. Uh, this guy's always going to be here. Uh, you don't actually want him to hit you yet. Uh, what you want to do is you want to grab this gun. You want to grab this key. And you want to grab the shotgun shells. Right now, you're going to equip the gun, and you're going to look behind you. Uh, they should enter the room along with you. They're actually hitting each other right now. Two headshots will kill. Uh, make sure you land uh, all headshots, by the way. I'm actually going to save a little bit because I uh, am going to do a knife combo. One headshot and half a knife combo will kill as well. Um, a couple of guys are going to spawn right here. That's pretty rough. Normally, they would line up for you. Kind of like this. And that's what you generally want to do. Like, lining up your shots, best spot. Those, guys, those two guys will always be there. The best strategy you can do is that you would land every headshot and you'd have enough left for one guy right here. I'll see if I can open the door. Uh, this guy, you'd hit with one bullet and you would hit him with a combo. Uh, he will now die in four combos as a result, which that's okay. You, you must kill every enemy here. So this is an awkward clip. You're going to do this. It's same same logic. Same exact logic you've been doing. This is a wall. Your goal is to get stuck right about here. You're then going to hold like left, like back left and try aiming up. You really got to feel your way through. You'll get launched up. Often you'll see a pipe above you. If you get that, you got to do it again. This is something you just shut up. The way I do it is usually left, back left and look up. If you don't do it, do it again. You want to get stuck in that right side of the wall. 
and then you get launched. That is not an easy glitch. That one's probably one of the hardest in the game, in fact. Uh, at this point, this is a thick wall. Um, this is actually why you want to know how to do thick walls, because this is not really a super easy one to shock and clip through. So at this point, you're going to start aiming down. I like to start tapping, and then at this point, you start aiming up left until you're out very slowly. And then you'll wiggle out. Uh, in here, there's going to be a special gun exclusive to New Game. If you're on New Game Plus, ignore this room. It is right on the left, si right side of this wall here. Just sort of look right there and mash A. You'll find it. You're now going to shock and clip through this door. For New Game Plus, to unlock the UFO ending, you will be giving Wheeler the health kit, which is why. I usually hold my camera right while moving left, and then I move there so I can see where I'm going. Use the door to kind of understand the room. The door is in the back left of that room where I was going. We are now in the final clip of the game. Before you do anything, you're going to reload your shotgun, and you might want to reload your hunting rifle, too. Uh, so we're going to do it right now. You're going to do a shotgun clip through the final door. This is actually a very easy clip if you get the momentum. I am a speedrunning. Yes, that is why it is there. Anyway, that is now the, uh, the final clip of the game. We are now in the final boss. It's getting a little bit loud. Get out your shotgun. Do not mash start. Push start. This is one of the worst ones. So, move left immediately. She's going to spit at you. Within this point, you're not going to shotgun. Get a full body hit. Time it well. You want to get as much shotgun hits as you can. The spit attack's the best one. You want to get full body hits. You can get all of phase one done with just the shotgun. If you do it right, that's phase one. We're now in phase two. If you're doing this right, the shotgun hit will be great. If you have a new game plus, it's bitch made. Don't worry about it. If you're new game though, this is where it all kicks in and this is where it matters. So, phase two is going to hit a little bit harder. Make sure you reload. She's going to be going for uh, probably an aerial attack. Aerial attack's ideal, because then she'll come right back down, and then you just pop her. You want to be careful just using the shotgun. That's why I take time to reload, because she'll actually do some attacks, like a wide swing, that are much worse for you. Uh, having the pound and having the aerial attack are really good. Anyway, unload all your ammo before anything. Uh, I will say right now, it is possible to do this entire fight and run out of ammo. If you do, you gotta go in there and knife her. This is also why we brought health drinks. Uh, this boss is actually pretty tough. I barely enough damage and GG. Please bring the control, what? Yeah, I'm speedrunning this, yes. I did it. It's weird. Anyway, that was Sonic Homecoming. Uh, the back half of that was very, uh, very well done. Like, the whole, like, last two sections were amazingly well done. Um, I'm very happy with that endgame. Um... Just a couple of other things to mention. The final clips are a lot tougher than they think. You might need to spend some time working on them. Uh, a popular problem is you might get stuck back in the fat wall. That's why I mentioned like, hey, you're gonna have to kind of feel your way through. Usually the shotgun's a better way of doing that. The pillar room is one room I kind of wish I struggled with more. Really the big thing I wanna mention about the pillar room is that often you'll kind of get it where Alex's head is stuck in the pillar, or not the, like the pipe above you. If that happens, you fail. That's not bad, it just means that you should drop the pipe and redo it again. You can't really wiggle your way through that, and that, like, the... The pillar is an awkward clip, and a lot of people comment on that one because it's not something that's going to be, like, feeling like the other ones. It's something that you have to just jut up. You have to feel like you're going to launch up. So if you don't get the total launch, you don't have it. It's a launch thing. And the best way I can say it is you're holding back left kind of to push you forward, which is why I'm holding back left and aiming the camera up. Normally, I guess the big thing to do is whatever direction you want to move in, the camera should go the opposite way. So if I'm going up right, my camera will go down left. If I'm going down left, my camera will go up right. I'm trying to make it go where I want to go. Anyway, with the ending, you'll see what I got here. Um, the dad choice is always locked into him being dead. So you end up, can, you can only get the executioner, or the bogeyman, I should say. You can only get the in water ending and UFO. I chose UFO here just to show you how to get it, because if you do this, you can then do New Game Plus. <coughs> mm. Oh my god! 
God, I can't believe it. It's UFO. I can't believe it's making them immediately subscribe to twitch.tv slash ecdysis. Holy... Oh my god, they did it. GG, thank you. The YouTube, oh my god. That's like, comment, subscribe. He was right. Alrighty. So normally I do the swole ending. I, I actually I do that one every time, Gen HN. This time, uh, since this is an explained video, I wanted to make also by the way, if you're doing if you want to do more runs, save the game. You need a, a saved file in order to actually um get new game plus content. So make sure you save it there. I don't need to save it, I already have two files. Make sure you save it. That being said, yeah, that was a uh, Sonal Homecoming uh, speedrun explained. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new uh, to, I guess, the YouTube side, remember to, you know, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me uh, like the like the video, too. Uh, let me know if you want to see other games such as this one. And, uh, GG, that's a hard game. I hope you, uh, good luck. Chat, say, say uh, hi to YouTube if you want. We're doing more here, by the way.